Hey everybody, this is Ryan back with the Rig CNC, the open source uh, CNC machine I've been working on. Made a update, I've been away for a little bit, partially because I bought a new toy. Um, been teaching myself 5-axis, it's a new to me pocket NC, um, so just trying to up, up my CNC game. Um, that is kind of an entirely separate project. I'm going to try to keep Rig CNC in its pure form of something that can be bootstrapped and remains relatively inexpensive. Um, any any sort of upgrades I plan on doing to this, I hope to keep within the same design philosophy of uh, you know something you could do with a drill press or a hand drill, and you know in the kind of inexpensive category. Um, so. I'll have some videos of 5-axis machining, but I'm going to try to keep them separate from, uh, you know, or independent of upgrades for the rig CNC. Um, on this guy, I have added an aluminum plate here and obviously bolted a giant router to the front of it. Um, I still have all of my tooling capabilities, and this guy, you know, unbolts and comes out pretty easily. Um, but this gives me access to much, much higher spindle speeds. So this tops out at about 5,000. RPM, and you know maybe I think it's a 750 watt motor, so that, that's not a ton. Um, this guy is in the two horsepower range and 32,000 RPM, so that is nearly six times the spindle speed, which is uh, you know plainly speaking very helpful for especially cutting aluminum. Aluminum has a uh, you can basically spin a spindle as fast as you want near it and as long as you have the rigidity to remove that material it'll work um, doesn't work harden or do anything silly like that um, so plan on taking some cuts just to kind of show off the new upgrade this is something that if you plan on doing aluminum this is probably a good idea the main downside with this is it is loud as hell so fair warning to any headphone users uh, I'll maybe in post turn the sound down but goddamn this thing is very very loud um, so I, I don't know how much I'm going to use it. I live in an apartment, but if you are going to make something like this and seriously do uh, a lot of aluminum machining, this is probably a worthwhile upgrade. It's it's like an additional hundred bucks, and realistically, if you wanted to forego this whole assembly and you know you knew you were never going to use R8, you could conceivably actually have the holes for it already here. Just use additional C beam and build this plate, so you'd connect from from here these holes actually line up for C-beam. You'd connect a length of C-beam out to here, or you know maybe a little bit shorter, um, and you'd, you'd just work with this. And that, that'd be actually a good way to suck maybe $400 out of the assembly when you get you know, the castings here and the electronics and all that stuff. Um, if, you, if you know you're just going to use a router, you could just extend this. But I'm going to be taking some cuts. I am traveling at 50 inches per minute. Uh, it's about a quarter inch depth of cut, eighth inch width of cut. This is a three flute carbide end mill, uh, high helix, meant for aluminum. And uh, yeah, we'll take some cuts. Again, headphone user warning, uh, this thing's very loud. So. So, throws chips everywhere, um, but that is about, you know, it's a pretty good surface finish, not, nothing amazing, you know, not really tool, uh, or not injection mold or anything ready, but very respectable. And uh, that is a material removal rate, I believe, in the inch and a half of cubic material per minute. Um, and. It was starting to lightly chatter, but I could probably push it even further. Um, so that that's it for now. Um, you know, pretty big upgrade. I don't know how much I'm going to use it because I'm in an apartment and I, I try to be a nice neighbor, but uh, pretty sweet. I'm, I'm excited about this one. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.